Hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, welcome to another video. My name is Kwame, and this is my lovely wife. Hi, my name is Elaine. And today's uh, episode is very special because today, or we're celebrating our... Is it today? Am I going to release it today? Yeah. Today happens to be our second wedding or marriage because we didn't do a wedding. We did do a wedding, but it was small. So, so it's, it's, okay, yes. yeah. So that happens to be our second wedding anniversary. Wow, we didn't do wedding. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we we got we signed and we had dinner. Yeah, but that's a, a celebration. That's a wedding. Okay. A wedding is what you want it to be. Okay. Are we gonna Are we gonna take this again? You want to? No. Okay, then go. Yeah. So today happens to be our second uh, wedding anniversary. Um, and it's a special episode for us because we want to reflect on some things. And today we're going to talk about some things we wish we knew before we got married. Yeah. Serious stuff. Serious. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going we're to mention them and then talk about them. Elaine is going to start. Yeah. So the first thing I wish I knew or maybe I already knew, but it's good yeah. to share again. I realize that it's, it's the practicalities. Sometimes you have it in your mind, but how they play out is completely different. Yeah. Um, I had to think of the, <laughs> it interrupted me. I thought of the guy who commented that you shouldn't interrupt me anymore. <laughs> wow. You see how, you see how the comments are like. The comments are there. We are in the C section. Um, anyway, yeah. um, first point, love is not enough. Uh, I think, yes, people marry out of love and that's great. But I do think to build a life together, you really need to put in the work, uh, try to understand each other and build a friendship as well. I think we, are very, we have a strong friendship base. Like, yeah. we ha I mean, we are married, <laughs> we hang out as husband and wife, but when we're hanging out, we're also just cracking jokes and, you know, being supportive and uh, doing fun things together. Not necessarily everything is romantic, right? Yeah, yeah. So those uh, platonic things that you can do with the other person yeah. and, you know, just talk for the sake of talking and not looking at things like, you know, always in the lens of husband and, and wife. wife or Yeah, you're also lovers. friends. You're also friends. So. Yeah. The games you play, the conversations you have, maybe watching TV together, and you know, the the the, the jokes or things that you might notice, the arguments you may have, that are not through the lens of marriage. Yeah. Those are the, the things you know that make it um, worth your while. Also, I think love is not enough um, here. For me, also means uh, that there are other aspects that will try your love. As in, you know, when people say love is not enough, it's, it's, it's mostly, love is often um, defined in a romantic way. Yeah. But so that kind of love is not enough. You need... You, to you build need, on it. Yeah, you yeah. need a bit of sense. As in, you need to sometimes get out of the mush or mushiness and look at things in a realistic way. And I think that's... Um, yeah, and I don't think everything can always be romantic. Yeah. I mean... Life's not like that. Life's will, life will give you your challenges and you have to deal with it. So if you're only romantically involved, it's going to be difficult. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and love doesn't pay bills. So. That too. <laughs> so <laughs> you have to do everything to be equal partners in every sphere of your relationship. So, yeah. Love is definitely not enough. Um, the next thing I think um, I would say is, uh, no, also, again, saying these are, these are some of the things that we, you already think about or have already heard, but when it comes to practice, it's not as easy when you are in there, mm -hmm. you know? It's like footballing and coaching. When you are outside, you seem to see things very clearly. You can give advice to people because you are neutral and you can see things play out. Mm -hmm. And the next one uh, for me in that uh, area is dating your wife. Because when you start a relationship, you know, you are very 
intentional, you are very, you know, yeah. thoughtful, mushy, you, you know, you go with things, like, you try, mm -hmm. you know, to, to put up, you know, make things um, <laughs> yeah. all the time, you yeah. know. You, you want to be like the perfect person for it. For the, the person all the time. Yeah. And, and those gestures that make, you know, butterflies get, I mean, brings those butterflies tend to fade out when you, yeah. you, you start living together and doing things or going about your business and everything. So I am not, I'm going to say honestly that I'm not um, strong because again, I mean, starting the freelance journey, trying to fix things and everything. So I'm not strong in the dating my wife's area, but it's something that I want to do more of because it also really helps yeah. with um, sometimes just resetting the mood. Yeah, I think you can easily get caught up in like daily stuff. Like you go, for me, it's like getting ready for work, going to work, come back from work, I'm tired, we need to cook, we need to eat. I'm tired, on the couch, sleep. Like, if you do that a lot and not, like, take time to really talk to each other or, you know... Or you will, intentionally you lose, do things. Yeah, you will lose sight of, you know, what's going on in your life, what's going on in my life. Because even if you have a routine, things will still come to you, like challenges or thoughts or insights or realizations that you have, you will... You have to sometimes move beyond the daily stuff so you really connect like oh this is what has been on my mind and that might not even relate to the routine yeah so it's important to make that time yeah so date your wife or date your husband or date your spouse yeah it's one of the things that um, yeah you should remember and like i was saying some of these things you think you know but when you when you get into the relationship or you get into the marriage you forget about them your daily yeah. routine just wipes it all. And yeah, and maybe it. they're also, like, how to say, in the beginning, when you start your relationship, like, you want to put in the effort also because it's not, like, set in stone and everything. So I can imagine that when you, I put a ring on it, you're like... The work is done. The work is done, but yeah. you forget that that's actually where it starts. Yeah. Because now you're going to really build a life together, or you're already building a life together, but, like... For the sake of the government, it's official. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's official, official. So, make time, date your wife. Very important. Yeah. Um, my Another one for me is, maybe I should combine these two. So, uh, your partner will see everything of you. And so from, like, looking all glam, going out with the girls to... Uh, so I got, for example, I got COVID over the holidays and I was very miserable and I wasn't feeling, you know, very well in my body. I was hurting and it was horrible. And uh, Kwame also saw that. But that can sometimes be a bit scary, you know, when a person really sees all of you. Because that also means that the person will definitely also see not your dark side, because I don't believe in light and dark, but things that still need a bit of work. Yeah, the vulnerable sides that you probably don't want to immediately like share. And this is like mm -hmm. not within your control because you're ill. Yeah. So you really can't do anything about it. You wish you could, but you can't. Yeah, but even not being ill, even if it's not about being healthy or not, but even about things that trigger me, that I don't even know they trigger me, but then you're like, oh, wow, why are you so, like, tense? Or what's what's going on? And I'm like, oh, wow, like, I might be very surprised. Yeah. So it, it comes to, being vulnerable comes to, like, letting somebody taking care of you, but also somebody will definitely point out things that you're not aware of and it's hard because you're like oh my god like he's seeing this ugly side of me and um it sometimes can be make you insecure and think well do, is this, will this person leave me because of this or is it enough like i mean like am i being uh, the best part or the best self that he deserves or she deserves yeah, and you have, never have a conclusive answer to that. So sometimes that can be scary. 
Um, I know in the beginning of a relationship, like I, I'm a foreigner, like I'm a Dutch person. So for example, I can never uh, make like, okay, I can learn how to do the Ghana dishes, but I didn't grow up in a Ghanaian environment. So yeah. some things I can never be like a Ghanaian wife. Yeah. How maybe, yeah, there are lots of things in Ghanaian culture that are I am not familiar with and I can ne I will never be able to give Kwame, whether it's uh, making dishes or whether it's family well, connections. Fortunately for you. <laughs> no, but sometimes, like, we had conversations about that and also it can be difficult to be with somebody who is from a different culture. So we, we would have conversations about that, like, wouldn't it be easier if you were with a Ghanaian lady, um, wouldn't it be easier if I would be with a Dutch guy? And I think it's okay to ask yourself those questions and be critical of, am I being the best partner I can be? Yeah. Um, yeah. So the, those doubts will be there and you will question like how vulnerable you are and if, whether this is the best you can do. Yeah. But I think that keeps you also on your toes, so you keep working through working it. on it, and that's in the end, marriage is work, <laughs> lots of work. <laughs> yeah. I think any relationship is work, honestly. But marriage, because you spend so much time together, and because marriage is also kind of like uh, much more of a, um, a locked up. I mean, come on, you can yeah, you break can up go before. anywhere. Yes, it's it's much more of a finite not finite i don't know how to put it like it's much more official officials like you know formal like you've actually yeah. committed yeah yeah it's a so it, it's not it's not like you're in a relationship and it's not like it, it's not working and you just feel like you know let me just talk to this person and not commit to something as big as uh, marriage yet yeah so that makes it a bit difficult to also juggle yeah because yeah, you're in it for for the long haul yeah that's true so what also relates a bit to the date your wife is, I think it's very important. I <laughs> am fiercely <laughs> doing it, but um, even though we are part of a unit, so we are part of a unit together, you have a life together, it's very important to also keep investing in other relationships in your life because like before you even met this person, your friends, your family, maybe other people in your life were around and they were there for you as support and to have fun with and you know they were also your lights in your life and um, I see a lot that when people get married or they get a serious partner they things tend to fizzle out and everybody of course has their own process but I do strongly believe and I also know that I really need to also have to spend time with, with my your friends. friends and family and um, because there's some things that I discuss almost everything with Kwame, but sometimes I want a different opinion or I want a different view or I want just to laugh about it with my girlfriends. And um, I think it's it's healthy to have not put everything like on you, like you are like that you have to be my cheerleader, my supporter, my uh, counselor, my, you know, it's also good to get different perspectives and still invest in those other people in your, in your life. Um, yeah. I think that's an, uh, an important one as well. Very, very important. Yeah, and I think about that a lot as well because, um, I mean, at least um, Elaine is very good at uh, being a social animal. It's not like me. I'm just like, I'm, I'm good with my own company most of the time. Mm -hmm. And um, Elaine has been able to make friends and form her own tribe here. I mean, granted, she's been going and coming and now living here for a few years. So that's um, something she has consciously worked on because she actually really does believe in it. And it works for her, I see it work for her. And for me, when I think of uh, possibly relocating to the Netherlands, mm. it's something I think about that, you know, also finding a tribe from scratch when most of my friendships or my, my, yeah, my strongest friendships have gone from, you know, just, I know this person to, siblinghood you know mm. most of my friendships are like 20 years over 20 years you know so it's difficult to you know start again or build that again also especially for the fact that i'm 
a freelancer as well. And yeah, yeah, and I think you also have this skill. You tend to be what you said, like you tend to be comfortable in your own space, and you're very comfortable when we're. It's just us, and yeah. I think that's great. I think that's a good quality also to just have like that peaceful approach, like the house I'm is content. peaceful. And you're content. Yeah. But then you you often for, not forget, but there also are, your friends are out there living their life and, and it's important to keep up with them as well. Um, yeah. Because it's easy to just be your comfort zone in the house, like, oh, we're just together all the time. But it will, <laughs> I, I believe it will, I know from my, let me speak, let me speak for myself. I know for myself that that will wear out for me and at some point it won't be enough anymore because I need my, my friends, my sisters, my, my family, um, everybody, so yeah. Yeah, and um, I think the last thing has probably been running through the things you've been saying all this while um, in a subtle way that your partner will be pointing out the things that uh, you don't like about yourself. Yeah, so this one we actually discussed uh, a few nights ago in bed. When we go to bed, we talk small, small, and then we sleep. <laughs> <laughs> So I was, sometimes things pop up in my mind from the day. So I, li I was listening to this podcast. It's a Dutch podcast. I'll put it in there. It's called uh, Love Afraid, if you translate it directly. Oh. So it's based on a book. And um, uh, the, the, per the it's a psychologist, he pointed out that your partner will point out the things that you don't love about yourself yet. And we're talking about how true that is because a partner is literally a mirror because he or she sees like maybe 60% of yours, which is a lot. And, and I think for us, I think for me, you definitely pointed out things that I still need to work on. And you also do the same for me. Yeah. It's very difficult to hear or listen to and yeah. <laughs> work on. So yeah. It's something that um, will happen. I think it's more, luckily for me or for us, um, I've realized that we've grown into the approach of pointing these things out. Yeah, in a kind but still insisting way. Yeah, yeah. Because you're you're actually more insisting than I am. <laughs> Elaine, yeah. Elaine can really, really get on my nerves with you know, pointing out these things and being stern about it. And yes, she's right. I know she is, but I'm still <laughs> annoyed about it. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe good to give an example. So for me, I find it hard to decide or feel uh, uh, proud or content with the work I've done. Or it's not even about work only, but also with the efforts I made to, for example, help a friend or support family or I find it hard to to decide on that boundary and I often give out too much and then I feel drained and that has been a process that we've been or I've been working on very consciously but Kwame also <laughs> has to whenever I feel drained and I am tired or very sad he has to uh, he's seeing all of that and so, I also remind her that yeah and yes. you you point out like but it's been enough or it's been good enough and yeah. you're allowed to rest and so you don't even have to earn to rest. If you want to rest, rest. Like there is no like, I have to do this and this and this bef before I can rest. Yeah. And for me, I've, I had, have always had this more conditional, so I can only do this and then I can rest. So there are conditions before I can rest. And I've been it's trying to work like, on that. It's also like a task and reward thing. Yeah, like which you're is tired to something. Unless I do this, I cannot rest. Or yeah, and it's it's has a lot to do with that. I like to be productive because it makes me feel like I belong. So it goes very like layers on the layers on the layers, and we've been peeling those away together. Like a union. Union. <laughs> <laughs> like a, an onion, and it's been scary as well. Like yeah. because you have to. It feels like. In Dutch, we would say 
with your butt, uh, your naked butt, like somebody seeing your naked butt. That's what we'd say in Dutch, met de billen bloot. Uh, met de billen bloot. Yeah, yeah. So a person is literally seeing everything, and and it's difficult. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's also you have to also be patient with the other person because for me it's been really a process. I'm getting better at it. But it's still there. And sometimes I think like, he must be so tired. No. <laughs> of no. pointing out the fucking same damn thing. It's, every... It's, strangely, is um, it comes easy to me to do that and yeah. still try to like hold and support. Like, you know. Yeah. And constantly remind, you know. Yeah. At least I hope that you're seeing what that. I, what I hate... Uh, or what I dislike more than the repetition that you think that I'm, I'm doing it all the time mm -hmm. is not like seeing you not see that you are doing more than you more enough. enough. Yeah. So seeing you go through that hurts me more than the activity of having to remind you or having to, you know, yeah. so I can easily remind you so that I can stop seeing you not recognize that what you're doing is enough. Yeah. No, I recognize that sometimes you get frustrated that I am bringing like sometimes yes no bringing but myself down and yeah that's yeah. what annoys me yeah so that's sort of what I'm saying I I hate seeing that more than the activity of yeah. telling you yeah I get it yeah yeah it's a lot but yeah. a, a lot is what we signed up for yeah definitely and I hope you see the small progress yeah you know? yeah I think that's important too because. These kind of things that have been patterns for years and years, like I won't change that in a day. Kwame won't change certain patterns in a day. So you also have to be very patient and and see like the small progress because we all have our lives to juggle. So yeah. things sometimes don't things sometimes need time and and won't move that fast. So patience is definitely key as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I think, I don't know, I think mine is uh, more about the perfectionism and again, being very stubborn with the things I want to do and how I want to do it. And sometimes Elaine is trying to get me to see that, you know, some of the things are not necessarily within where my perfect ideas are, but they are very helpful for my overall growth. So she, for example, tells me to sometimes when she sees some opportunities, like reach out to these people, talk to them, do this. And I'm just thinking, nah, I just want to shoot this thing. And I made plans to shoot this thing. So I, I, I really don't want to talk to them because I don't want to work on that. I don't want anything to derail me from shooting this thing or doing this work or doing this thing that I dreamed of and I want it to be perfect. So yes, those things are hard to hear, but I do very much understand her that, you know, you cannot be lone rangering your way through everything. and. Yeah, there are some people. of these things that, you know, come up that you need to just do it and see where it goes from there. And it's, it's difficult to swallow all the time, but yeah. Yeah, but I think you can pick and choose as well. It's not like, so when I point these things out, it's not like I want you to do it. But it's more like to pick your mind, like plant small seeds, like... There's so many possibilities yes, out yes, there. Yes, yes, you plant a lot of seeds. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's also like the business development side of me. Like, yeah. I literally see opportunities She's everywhere. She's always trying to like, plant these seeds, bro. Like. <laughs> and it's, it's true. Like, I think a while ago, I went to get fuel at the coil here in, in the neighborhood. And then one of the guys, we always talk to him. I won't mention his name here because maybe he doesn't want to no, be on he's, YouTube. No, he's watching. He's probably going to watch this video. Yeah. So, and, and we were talking and then he said like, yeah, I have this uh, documentary idea. And da, 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 da. they really thought about this. I'm like, you see, opportunities are everywhere. You go to get fuel and somebody's pointing something or uh, getting your attention to a certain thing and it can go from there. So I think, yeah, for me, um, that's how my brain works. Yeah. So it might be annoying for you, but here we are. Yeah. Okay, maybe the last point before this goes into uh, 120 minutes uh, YouTube video, because we can go on and on and on. I don't know if it's going that long, but let's go, okay. Um, yeah, the adulting. Yeah. Adulting will definitely hit you 
But I think that's the adulting part is everything. I don't think... summarizing everything. Because everything we're talking about is yeah. like... Yeah, you have to really... Sometimes I'm, we say to each other, like, we're so tired of adulting because <laughs> so many things happen at the same time and life can be overwhelming. And especially when difficult things happen, like family members get ill, like these kind of things hit you hard and you're still expected to go to work and do all these things on the side and, and make money and cars break and pay, down and, and, bills and washing machines get like dirty and then the laundry <laughs> I comes can't out you brought that here. dirty and you're just like I just want <laughs> clean clothes like sometimes it just piles up so much and it's really hard and also I mean it's what, what's funny about that? It's like how you bring that up as an adulting thing. It is because the thing, you know why it's an adulting thing? Because nobody's going to fix the washing machine for us. Yeah, you, you have, have to, to Google how to clean it yourself. And, we and Google so much how to clean the washing machine and all these things. And that's the thing about adulting. Like nobody's going to do it for you. So you better step up your game and fix that washing machine. Yeah, for me, I think that the, the, the aspect of adulting that annoys me is that when those things... I'm not good with unexpected things when I've made things, I've made my mind to do things. So mm. sometimes those things just derail you yeah. from something you really wanted to do and now you can't do it. Yeah, and I also think, like, <laughs> I always find these memes on Instagram and stuff like, I don't think it's a scam because it's bills on bills on bills, bills on yeah. bills and... Well, you pay one thing or you do a big uh, payment of something. And those are not even fun things. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's and the, and fixing the car. The, the, car, car, one, the car one is the most common one or the co yeah. most common meme I do see. Like, when you think everything is going well and your car is like... Yeah, exactly. It's just gonna... And you just, yeah. And I think for us, it's also been a journey on how to arrange our finances and... Like, because first you're separate units and you both have your bank accounts and we're still figuring also out like how much we're trying to track. We've been really bad at that, by the way. Track like what we spent on the household, like when, how often do we need groceries? You know, we often try to remind ourselves like there's rice at home because <laughs> like sometimes we just crave things like, oh, let's, let's order food or let's yeah, go out to eat. Uh... Like we, we're foodies, so... Yeah. Sometimes you have these cravings and you just you want to go out and in. eat and you're just like, no, we just bought these ingredients, <laughs> let's cook something. There's so many ingredients in our fridge, let's not like just ignore them. And of course, I mean, we, we sometimes eat out and, and we deserve those things as well because we work hard. But erasing all those things and getting insight into them, they're making a plan and also talk about like goals because we like to travel like... Okay, so we like to travel. If we really want to do that, we need to make a plan and how to arrange for it. Yeah. And these conversations can be very tough. Yeah. And it's not a fun thing to, to... It's not fun to talk about money unless you're, like, bawling and you have money, like, you can you splurge. Don't think about, but yeah. we are not there. And uh, I think it's important to, to have a plan and, and yeah, just so arrange for hard. it. it. It's just hard and... It's good to sometimes say to, say to each other, like, adulting is really hard and it's been a scam lately. Like, yeah. <laughs> I've just been doing tough things on tough things. And yeah, I'm happy to do it together, but it doesn't mean it's always easy. And um, you also become aware of how you were raised and, and maybe how uh, money was arranged in your household and how it was arranged in my, my household. household. And yeah. sometimes it clashes. and you get into these very tense conversations and you're like, why is this a tense conversation? It's and you have to yeah. Yeah, figure it out, take a deep breath and maybe pause and do it another day. It's, please, oh, hey, we've come from far, <laughs> so far. So yeah, these are some of the things that um, not necessarily we wish we knew. Uh, oh, I wish I knew, oh, I really wish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we did live together um, for a while before we got married, so we saw a AKA bit, a glimpse. he squatted my room in Ozu. 
really. Yes. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah, so I lived in Adenta and she lived in Osu and yes, Osu is close to my job. So what do you want me to do? Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. So I'm just saying that, yeah, we saw glimpses of it, but when you are actually living it out, it's, it's completely different. So, yeah. Yeah. And but, oh. yeah, if you do have a... Do you go ahead? A partner who is on the same wavelength as you and be able to talk about all these things, it's, it's very doable. Yeah, I think that's also, maybe that's my last thing. I really felt like marriage is this big thing, like, woo! You know, like... It isn't? You don't think so? I mean, it's a big commitment, yes. But for me, it doesn't feel much different than when we were, like, not official when we were... Like, I mean, you were my yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. I, but I already knew it was solid. Like, I knew, like, this is for long term and I'm committed. Yeah. So when you asked me to marry you, I was like, Ooh. that's a, like, big thing. It felt, like, heavy, like, oh, my God, that's so serious. But now we're in it. I'm literally, and like... We've done two years, but it doesn't even feel like it. No, it's, for me, it feels quite easy. Yeah. Of course, we have like our hard times, hard times, and you know sometimes you're like, wow, yeah. wow, 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 what, what's going on here? But for me, it's easy. Like it feels just like I think I saw this meme like marriage is like <laughs> not necessarily easy, but it's just um, we, we. I think we have a strong uh, sense of our capabilities. Yeah. To get through things. Yeah, so we know ourselves well, and Enough we know the know other can, also yeah. well, and there's a certain... Okay, maybe we shouldn't say it's easy, but there's certain yeah. ease to it. Yes, because we've, there's a certain ease to it, because easy is just a bit... Uh, yeah, that's too, like... Making people think that... It's... Oh, just go get married. No. Yeah, but you will just decide a lot together what you'll eat. You'll fart a lot together. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Yeah, that's for me like the main thing. Like, what are we eating today? And like, you're just chilling together. And that's literally marriage. The marriage is you asking the other person. What shall we eat? Today? What shall we eat till you till you die? And together. then farting in between a lot. Hey, yeah, that's, that's literally marriage. Yeah, but I, I mean, I think I think they say after seven years of marriage, that's when you hit a point that's difficult. I, I don't think there's a science to it. No, it's not everybody true. that realizes that because marriage is different from being in a relationship yes but technically i've known you for seven years yeah okay well let's see i mean i'm not uh, i think we we will just try our best there's nothing more you can yeah. do honestly yeah and yeah so far so good <laughs> right yeah yeah it feels good okay I think we're, we're through. One, one thing I wanted to, and this is also good because then we can see whether people watch till the end. So there's one new thing about Kwame's look. And I want to see if people will see I, it. I can, I can, I can um, say that most people didn't even recognize it because it was in my previous video before this one. Oh, okay. And not one comment about it. So look, so, look well. So look people well. didn't realize there's something new. Yeah. Something I wasn't so enthusiastic about in the first ah, place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm getting used to it and you're very happy with it. So yeah. look well, like look for the Come difference. on, it's okay. Okay. okay, so yes, thank you very much for um, watching the video. And yeah, we hope to bring you more of our experiences as we're doing, you know. And yeah, it's been two years being married and it feels absolutely good. And yep. wonderful and we're grateful for <laughs> <laughs> we're grateful for you guys as well yep. you know and being here and uh, yeah sharing with it sharing with us yeah and if people have other things they would like to share in the comments like things you wish you would knew before you got married or before you went into a serious relationship and if all the things we also said are things that you really really like now having like oh wow okay Thank you yeah. guys for sharing. Let us know as well. Yeah, so we'd like to. Hear from I mean, you. we're always yeah, we're open for learning points, so yeah. drop them in the comments. We would like to know. Yeah. 
All right, thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe and comment, share with a friend or share even with an enemy who can learn something from it. Wow. Okay. And then um, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. And we're gonna celebrate our anniversary a bit more, not yeah. only on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye.